A dreary Friday afternoon, definitely not the nice weather we were hoping for at the start of this weekend. No, not at all, but I do believe Carson has said by Mother's Day this Sunday it's going to be awfully nice. So let's check in with him and see what he's got to say. Yeah, if you forgot a Mother's Day gift, guys, maybe the weather can be that gift on Sunday. But we got to get through a few thunderstorms here on this Friday. Let's give you another view of the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We've been talking about it all morning long. There is still a low end chance to see a couple of stronger storms over northeast Alabama through around 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. In fact, we're starting to see that heavy downpour that just moved through Huntsville a few minutes ago. Now it's got a few lightning strikes with it. The Weather Service keeping an eye on this storm as it moves into northwestern Jackson County for maybe some 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So here's that latest track. This is going to go through some of those communities in northern Jackson County. So we're talking skyline by 1154, heading towards Stevenson by 1214, eventually towards Long Island, Tennessee, there in Marion County, Tennessee, once we get towards 1224. Let's shift things over to the other side of the state. We're watching this cluster of thunderstorms in northwest Alabama as well. This is right along that cold front. I'm not expecting any of this to be severe, but if you're in Colbert County right now, let's say just south of US 72, you're seeing some heavier downpours. Same story goes if you're in Waterloo right now. Not expecting that to be severe, just something to keep in mind for the rest of this Friday afternoon. Could still have a few hit and miss showers and storms. The main threats for northeast Alabama as far as severe weather is concerned, that goes until about 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon and with it comes that risk for heavy rain, which we have seen several times already this morning and maybe some gusty winds around 50 to 60 miles per hour. The tornado threat, it is there, yes, but it's very low. I think our main concerns will be heavy rain and gusty winds. We actually have full sunshine all of a sudden out at the Space and Rocket Center on the way 31 Skycam network. We'll have that mix of sun and clouds and maybe some sunshine too if you're going to be out and about and it's not raining where you are. Temperatures right now in the mid 70s, 74 to be exact here in Huntsville. But once that cold front moves through late this afternoon heading into the evening, those temperatures will drop pretty quickly. I think we're down to your 70 by 7 p.m. mid 60s by 10 o'clock tonight, and it's not out of the question again to have a few of those lingering showers for any Friday night plans you might have. Future radar looks like this again. The severe weather threat over Sand Mountain, it is pretty much done by about 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. You see some of those stronger storms getting their act together as they move into Georgia and eventually the Carolinas later on. But we'll still have the chance for a few showers here at home, especially along the Alabama Tennessee state line through the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight as well. Some of those showers possibly sticking around towards sunrise on Saturday, but I don't think Saturday is a complete washout. Just a 10% chance for a couple of sprinkles right around sunrise, but it will be a bit gloomy tomorrow. And for that reason, look at that forecast high, only 72 degrees, and that might actually be a stretch tomorrow. Some of us could be stuck in the 60s thanks to that thick cloud cover. But looking ahead to Mother's Day Sunday, we will have plenty of sunshine and seasonable temperatures. Our average high 80 degrees. That's exactly where we'll be on Sunday, but look ahead to early next week. If you're a fan of summertime heat, you're going to like next week's forecast. We go all the way up to 87 on Monday, and there is a pretty good chance by Tuesday we will be hitting 90 degrees for the first time this year. And as you look at the seven day forecast, you notice that summer heat not going anywhere. Plenty of sunshine all of next week, too. We're going to hover in that upper 80s to near 90 range. Might even have some heat index values in the low to mid 90s. So let's just get through the storms today, and it's shaping up to be a nice stretch of weather all the way through next week. All right.